Okay guys, I'm heading out. So I'm only going for a week but I left enough food in the fridge and if you have any issues I left a number you can call. So take care of yourselves and absolutely no parties, okay? Watumbe, I'm leaving you in charge since you are the eldest. Any questions? Hello and welcome back to another episode of My Plants. This is a common problem that a lot of house plant owners face. You're growing your lovely plants, they are all healthy, and then you want to go on vacation and there's no one to take care of them. So in this episode, I'll show you a few tricks that you can do to take care of your plants. The most important thing is to give them water. According to how long you're going for, you try to make sure they have enough water to survive for that period of time. And yes, sunlight is important, so you have them kind of close to a window that gets sunlight. But even if that's not possible, as long as they have water, they'll survive at least till you come back. So here we have a variety of plants and plant pots. And I'm going to show you how you can ensure that they survive for an extended period of time. The easiest to start with is succulents. So with succulents, they can survive for a long period without water. So the best bet for them is to add extra water, more than you usually feed them with, and they'll be fine. They will absorb that when they need it. Next, let's go to the pots with drainage. So any pot that has drainage, like Watumbe for example, he has drainage. What you can do is just fill this tray up with water. Fill it all the way up. If you're going for a long period, you get a bigger tray. Maybe a grill pan. And you can put multiple pots that have drainage on top of that so that you can actually just fill one thing with water and you have a long-term source of watering. So for this plant, spider plant for example, I have a container here, I'll just fill that with water. The next plant pot to consider is the ones without drainage. So things like my pepper plant here or even my date palm here. These have no drainage. So what you'll have to do is design a drainage system for it to slowly drip water. And to do that, let's go to the kitchen. So I have a bottle of lemonade here. I'm not going to drink it, so I'm going to empty this and use the bottle. What we are going to do is make this as a drip feeder for the plant. Very simple process. I'm just going to cut holes at the bottom. Now, I'm going to make sure the cover is tightened and then fill it from on top here or below here. Next, we just simply stick it in the soil. What you simply do is you loosen the cover until the water starts dripping out you make a hole in the soil and you place it in the pressure of the the, the weight of the bottle is going to close the cap a bit so you open it slightly more than you think you need and the water will flow out and and, and absorb into the soil because this is a trial and error technique, what you do is before you go away on holiday, you actually test it out by setting it up in your soil and seeing how long it lasts. Accordingly, you can adjust the opening and make sure it lasts for the period of time you want. 
So that concludes another episode of my plans. I hope this was helpful for you and thanks for watching. See you again next week back in my greenhouse.